All right, welcome. And I want to thank you very, very much for joining, joining us here at Skid Row Live LA. We are very grateful for your attention. This particular message goes out to my brother, Umar Gaddafi. Listen, if you please, sir. We need your help here. My name is Anthony Muhammad. And I'm an FOI, I'm in the Nation of Islam. And we need your help very, very, very badly down here at, uh, in Los Angeles. What I want to do, I want to help these people get out of this country. Now, if you see fit, if you can, please, in the name of Allah, I've prayed about this, so the only thing I can do is to plead with you in the name of Allah, to please donate to us so I can help these people so they can come out of this country here, which there are no jobs for them, which these, I'm talking about my, first of all and foremost, the black brother and sister that are in this country, which was taken out of Africa. And we need to have a home of our own. Now, this particular country and the, and the heads of this country, they don't want to give us any states. We would like about 13 states, but they don't want to do that. And so since they don't want to do that, and they want to apologize with nothing, what I'm asking is that you help us so we can get the planes and we can get the boats that we need. And I can go to Africa, Ghana, where they have, they have said that they will help us start a new life, where I can buy land and build homes for these for my brothers and sisters here in the United States so they can have a place to start and to, to furnish and to live. And we need, we are sick here. We're admitting that we're sick in the mind from racism, from prejudice, because we stay here even though all of this stuff constantly keeps happening to us over generation after generation after generation. And we just want a place to go where we can be left alone to build for ourselves, to live and love ourselves. So we've been made here to hate each other. And everybody over here appears to hate us simply because of the media Every movie we see, we're the first to die. We die the most horrible deaths. We are only looked at as being a joke or some laugh, laugh at, something to be laughed at over here in this country. Unless, we cannot get a job unless we act like we're stupid. We can't, I have a master's degree in education, but yet I can't get hired here because the system here, they feel threatened that I'm going to invent something new and they won't, and I'll get some money. So all I'm asking, please, please, in the name of Allah, please, help me to help my brother and sister. Now you know Minister Farrakhan, I'm with that, I'm in the nation. I need your help. So if you can go to our site and press that donate button and put whatever you're going to put in there, I promise you in the name of Allah, I will help these people. But all we need is a chance. This country will not give us a chance, will not give us an opportunity, only an opportunity to be more foolish, only a chance to shake our rumps and a look and, 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 and the killers. We have a police system in which they don't give us justice. They beat us in the middle of the street. They hurt us. They put us in jail and they use us as free slave labor. We don't have a police
political system? Because we might have a black person in, in politics, but yet when they get up there, they don't talk about us. They only use our vote. And when they get up there, it, that's it. I'm a ride. They're thinking about themselves. So we don't want to do that anymore. We don't want to go through that anymore. We're tired of being tired. We don't have the chains here, but yet we're chained here because we don't have any money, any gold. We like gold. Gold, we can get out of here. Help me. Not just me, but help Skid Row out. Help the new channels, which I'm putting this on. African TV, African TV, please. All I can do is ask, Brother Gaddafi. And anybody out there that's a Muslim, I am that. Anybody out there that's a Muslim that wants to help. but the Native Americans, the Latinos, the Mexican, and they, and this country will not make some kind of reparations for it. Heck, they won't even say they're wrong. But we're not asking for that. We're leaving them alone in whatever their madness that they're in. The political system, the upper omnipotence of this country, and we want to move on and get a place of our own. So, if you can help us, please, please. All I can do is ask. I want to thank you very much for giving us your attention, and thank you. That's all.